Hey, this is Frank with the third video in our How to Create Brainwave Music and Hypnosis course. And as I've covered in the first two videos, whenever you listen to one of these kind of tracks on YouTube, either my channel or someone else's, you're essentially listening to an MP3 that's been manufactured from multiple tracks. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to use an open source software program to generate the brainwave tracks, that is, the binaural beats and isochronic tones used to achieve one of the four states we are after, deep sleep, deep meditation, relaxation, or high focus. You can do it all using this one simple program that, again, is free. It's called GNORAL or NORAL. Not quite sure how to pronounce it. But when you open it, you have a workspace. And along the vertical axis, we have the frequency, if you follow the mouse. And on the horizontal axis, we have the time. The first thing I'm going to do for demonstration purposes is shorten the time. I go up to Tools, down to Truncate Schedule, and type in 900. It's already there because I did a run of this before. And I just click OK. The horizontal axis changes to 15 minutes. Very cool. Now I want you to listen to the binaural beat that is pre-selected at 8 hertz. I'm going to raise the volume. Just for demonstration, I keep it low for export purposes as you'll see later. So we have an 8 hertz sound, kind of science fiction-y, and I want to demonstrate how, fa how low it can go. Watch this. I should say listen. So clearly, you can hear it actually slow down, which is kind of cool. Now, for this demonstration, I want to do a relaxation track. That is, keep you in the alpha level, from 8 hertz up to 12, and I might even go a little bit into theta, into like the 6 hertz range. This is how you do it with GNORAL. You click on spots in the graph, and these nodes appear, and you create an undulating pattern for the track, in this case a 15 minute track. I like doing a little bit of variety so my brain doesn't get locked, I don't fall asleep, I don't get too jittery. And I've got a program that has some variation to it. As you do it yourself, you're going to find what works for you. The next thing I do is I actually delete the pink noise that's generated by GNORAL because I have found that in the next program we're going to use the pink noise generated by Audacity to me is a little smoother. I just like it a little better. So in order to delete a track, you click on it as I have done here, go up to Edit, down to Voice, and Delete. And so now we only have the binaural beat track. Again, we're creating a relaxation MP3 for demonstration purposes. Now here's the next thing I do which is really cool. I like binaural beats, I like using headphones, but I also like isochronic tones. By clicking on binaural beat, going up to tools, and duplicate selected voice, I now have two identical tracks. You don't see it on the graph because they are actually laid over one another. What I do with the second track is click on that, go back up to edit, to voice, and click on properties. And you see the voice type right here is binaural beat. Click the pull down menu and go to isochronic pulses and click OK. Now I actually have two tracks of different sounds that are completely identical. I want to demonstrate what the isochronic pulses sounds like and you do that by muting the binaural beat track. And listen to this. You see how it's like a metronome? Now I'm going to play both of them. And you can hear how they are laid over one another. If I mute both of them, we hear nothing. And if I just unmute binaural beat, we only hear the science fiction sound. I'm going to unmute both of them and stop so that we're not too distracted. But what I have here is a 
dual sound track that I'm going to export to Audacity for the purpose of creating a relaxation MP3 that will be 15 minutes in length. There are many cool things you can do with G-Neural, including pronounce it differently than I'm pronouncing it. But it's just a very cool little free program that I found, and I've been creating uh, Hypnosis MP3s now for five years. G-Neural is actually the second program I'm using to generate binaural beats and isochronic tones, and I find it to be very reliable and easy to use. You do have to get used to a couple things. One thing I don't like is the display at the top. You don't see in this little corner exactly what hertz it's at. All right, now that we have our two sounds in a single 15-minute track, we're going to export it into a folder, which we're then going to import into Audacity. And to do that, you go up to File, and click Export Audio to File. This is where it gets a little tricky again because of the interface. The first thing you want to see is that you're exporting as a WAV file, which is totally cool for use with Audacity. But you have to be careful about where you actually want to put the file. I've, when it comes to working with these kinds of audio files, they get big really fast. I've got about 300 gigs of various pieces and parts and um, project files of audio on my computer. It's kind of straining my resources right now, mostly in terms of the RAM. So you do want to really think about how you're going to manage the files in advance. So I click on desktop, and what I did was I actually created a folder called How to Make Brainwave Music and Hypnosis MP3s specifically for this project. And I'm going to go up here and type in uh, demo binaural isochronic okay and I'm going to save and you see along the horizontal bar it is exporting the file it's pretty quick with a 15 minute track and that's really it in under 10 minutes I've shown you how to generate binaural beats and isochronic pulses using a free software program. And as I've said, you can use it to create sleep tracks, meditation, relaxation, or high focus. I am thinking about creating additional videos after these first initial ones to really show you how to do it, but let's handle the basics. Let's get out of this video and take you to the next one where I will import the track and show you how to work with the raw files in Audacity.